it's me taylor and i got 10 questions from tiktok that are requested so i'm gonna go ahead and answer them here so if i keep looking down you know what i'm doing so question number one what is your opinion on only fans okay so my opinion on only fans is make your money make your money however you want I personally wouldn't do it. I personally don't think in the long run it's a great idea. But again, not judging anybody else. It's my opinion. I personally feel like if I was going to have kids later in the future or wanted a different kind of career, I don't want people to see me as that type of person or see my content, if that makes sense. But if you're willing to make money that way, I feel like you have to be a strong individual to even do things like that. But I personally do not. It's not for me. Next. Can relationships work in this generation? Hell yeah. I believe relationships can work in this generation. It just takes two people to have the same mindset and to really, really want it. People nowadays, there's so many options. There's so much social media. There's so many dating apps that people give up really quick. Oh, that person's not going to do what I want. I give up. Or people have the mentality of not caring. If you have a mentality that you don't care about a relationship or you don't care about somebody, that's not a good mindset. But I really do believe that you can firmly be in a relationship in this generation. You just have to have a really strong heart, a really strong mind, and you gotta want it. You both gotta want it. Anything can work. You gotta put your mind to it. You gotta believe in yourselves. And I know it's gonna be tough, and I know it's hard, but you both have to be very faithful, very honest, open communication, and just love each other all throughout. And love is fucking unconditional. You have to love the person for them and not try to change them. But yes, relationships can work in this generation to me. You just gotta want it, baby okay why don't women take accountability in this generation one of my favorite favorite topics so i firmly believe that a lot of women don't take accountability not all women but most women do not take accountability um and i feel like it's because women are not taught to like be upfront about things women are not taught to apologize women are not taught to you know I don't care especially about men and i don't think that's a really good thing so i personally feel like women should say sorry learn to apologize if you're ashamed or you're embarrassed of what you've done i mean i understand that but it is so much better to say hey i'm sorry hey i messed up instead of acting like it didn't happen and not taking accountability taking accountability is such a great and beautiful thing especially when you get to a certain age if you're younger i understand these things take time to learn but once you hit a certain age and you're out of home and you're living on your own and you're trying to be with a man baby you cannot blame him for everything in this world because there's two people in the relationship and i doubt he does every little thing and i've noticed a lot of women will get out of relationships and they'll name he did this to me he did this to me he did this to me and you never hear i messed up i did this i did that Ladies, there's nothing wrong with saying I'm wrong, I'm sorry, I apologize. There's nothing wrong with that. I would rather say I'm wrong, I'm sorry, than to have the person I'm with think that I don't care. And guys, I'm speaking from experience before. Oh, if you would have known me, you wouldn't have liked me. I literally would never say sorry. I would never apologize. I have like this, I'm always right mentality. And when I got with my current boyfriend, yeah, no, he helped me realize things for the better. I needed work. And I needed to be a better person. And not even that, I loved and cared about him so much that I started realizing, it ain't him, it's me. There's nothing wrong with that. Once you start realizing that it can be you too, you can start making changes. And I'm telling you, your relationship goes a lot smoother. When your man feels like you truly care about him and you're truly invested in his feelings, baby, you're going to be loving each other forever. That's all I know. It goes smoother, dude. Like Men love women who are confident take accountability and can apologize what man isn't gonna love you for saying sorry think about that look how dumb that is saying i'm wrong even men always say this women never say they're wrong women never say they're sorry so think about this be that girl that says i'm sorry he's gonna be like dang what she gonna get all this beep you know what i mean dang. next oh if you're in a relationship do you answer dudes in your dms and why well, you know my viral video that went about, I personally, mm -mm, if I called girls uh, a hoe for answering DMs, but I look like answering DMs, I'm not going to be a hypocrite. So I will say this, through my IG, my um, best friend, she has a nail company or nail business. Um, I support her. I promote her on my page, which people think I do nails sometimes, so I do get DMs. So I scroll through my DMs and I see everything. Do I click on them and accept and talk to people? 
hell to the no hell to the no no even if i was single i personally wouldn't because i'm not the type of person i don't entertain other people i for a fact am old school and i don't like i don't believe that everybody truly likes me you know what i mean like i feel like a lot of men not every man but i feel like a lot of men are just into looks and into you because they see a persona you put on social media they don't know me they don't know how i am so no and i'm not like that single or in a relationship and since i'm in a relationship i don't do that i firmly believe if you don't want something done to you you do not do it i have so much respect for myself and my dude that i would never do that i have morals respect and i just i'm not that type of person and what the hell do i look like going on tiktok or going on social media saying hey guys be faithful be good to your man and then now i'm the laughing stock of being a cheater i'm good and there's nothing to entertain if you guys have questions about advice or like about your woman go ahead and write them in my dms i'll read them out i'll give you some advice over tiktok but i will not dm you personally because i do not do that nor do i want to be in any type of situation like that but i'm there to help but the question to that or the answer to that question no i don't answer people's dms unless it's business inquiries okay what do you bring to the table as a woman not materialistic oh i like these kind of things so not materialistic what makes me different from other women the one thing that makes me different from other women is i have a different perspective on things i take accountability i have a lot of respect for myself as a woman so that means i'm not gonna be out here in these streets making you look dumb i'm very caring like so caring to the point that sometimes it does hurt me um because i consider your feelings before i consider mine don't know if that's a good thing or not and i wear my heart on my sleeve like hard like i'm a really once i'm invested in you and love you there is no going back i will cater to you i will take care of you i will finance you anything you need i will be there for you let me know i will help you that's the type of woman i am and i just once i love you i will do anything in this world to keep you like i know i have my moments you know i ain't perfect i'm not gonna see her neck like i don't spaz out and all that but yeah i definitely have loyalty i have a ride or die mentality like my loyalty can sometimes fucking kill me um because the way i am when i'm invested in somebody no matter what you do besides cheating i will stick stick with you for the long run i i made a promise to you i said i wasn't gonna give up on you and i mean that and i mean i'm about my word when it comes to stuff like that and i'm a the one thing about me that i've realized is if i'm with you and you tell me like a girl's hurt you or treated you bad i want to be the opposite of that girl i want to have that bitch looking dumb now you mind now they dig on mine but yeah that's personally my thing like i just want you to have the best experience with me granted i'm pretty sure i haven't been the best to people i know that but i just know that i have a really big heart like a really big heart so loyalty respect catering i got an old school mentality i'll cook for you i'll clean for you i'll rub your feet like i just have a lot of things that are very different from women and i have a different perspective i'll play video games with you i'll play ball with you i'll rub your back whenever and if you're mad you think i'm gonna give you the silent treatment and not put it down for you <laughs> I'm the total opposite i don't take things that's one thing i don't do there's no silent treatment for me i don't take sex or fun away like no i'll be up your butt babe are you okay babe i love you come talk to me i am that type of girl yeah really bad i don't know if that's bad or not but that's me okay as a woman what advice can you give to other women the advice i can give to other women be understanding stop acting like you're so perfect and judging your man so much ease up on him take it easy like women we i do it too but women we have this thing where we want everything perfect we want our man to do this and do that but we don't ever realize that we need work too we're not the best and you know what i noticed about men men are so easy going that they don't even complain it's women who complain about every little thing so i wish women out there get to know your man treat your man good invest in your man and i don't mean like money wise but i mean like take him out dude spoil him treat him like the, the king that he is like you could be having a good king by your side and not even know it if he buys you shoes you buy him two shoes if he made you dinner one time you throw that shit down and make him dinner more just you love him more than he loves you and you'll get that stuff back tenfold i'm a firm believer that i don't know just women in this generation i wish that they would respect their partners more consider their men's feelings more and just be caring and be sweet i understand that us as ladies we get agitated we, we overthink that's okay but it's not okay to treat your man like crap 
I personally can say that I've had issues with, you know, being nice and all that. And that's why I'm learning. That's why I'm on this platform to teach people how to be sweeter. And I have my moments. I'm not going to say, like, oh, I've been perfect my whole life. No, baby. That's why I got into therapy. Because I, I, I noticed I needed a lot of work. So now I'm on my way to success. And I want to teach other women how to do that. Be understanding, women. Be open with your man. Try new things. And you know what I mean when I say try new things. Men love a woman with confidence. Men love a woman who tries things that he likes. Your man's going to love you. If he asks you to try something new and you try it, even if you don't like it, try it. Get to know him. Do things you, you never know. I feel like when you're with somebody and you really love them, you do the most craziest things with them. You do the most craziest things. And you'll build you'll build a bond with him that's so strong. I'm telling you, just build a bond with your man. Love that motherfucker. But if you... oh. Oh, if you could give men more advice on how to treat women, what would it be? Men, I believe that you guys should be more compassionate and more loving. And I understand not every woman's deserving of that. I'm saying to the women who is who women are who are deserving of it. I firmly believe that you should love them, care for their feelings. I'm telling you, when your woman needs you and she's emotional, be there. Be there like just be there. And I don't know if you remember that one scene. I always talk about this. That one scene from Love and Basketball where Quincy was like, I wanted you to be there. You needed to be there for me. And you weren't there. That's what I'm talking about. You know that feeling when somebody really needs you and you're not there for them? You know how devastating that is? Especially if I have to ask you to be there and you couldn't even show up. I feel like a lot of, not a lot of, not every man, but a lot of men lack um, the emotional capacity to be there for their women and I understand this y'all are not taught to be emotional We get that but see I'm the type of female where I will show you hey when I'm upset come to me when I'm sad or whatever Hug me when I'm this way come coddle me come talk to me more So ladies be verbal with what you want so that he can help you Teach your man it ain't nothing wrong with teaching your man, but yes, man be more loving and catering and then just learn to girls are sensitive you know we crazy you know we emotional try not to snap so much at us like if we get irritated you know we get insecure we get on your nerves try not to like spaz out on us and get all mad and stuff like you so damn annoying you so this just try to be sweet about it babe you know what you irritated me i know it's hard and i know it's not gonna be an everyday thing because sometimes you do have your moments but try trying is all we can ask for but just love her more that's all um what are five qualities in a man i'm looking for respect I want a man who's respectful even when I'm upset or even when he's upset. I want a man who's not going to get out of character and call me out of my name. I want a man to be like, hey, you know what? I'm upset right now. I'll call you back in or I'll hit you up later or I'll talk to you later and not disrespect me. Loyalty. I want a man who's so loyal. He's loyal to his barber. He's loyal to everybody. I want a man who looks at me and only me. I don't want him to like treat other bitches like shit. I don't mean that, but I just want him to worship the ground that I walk on and appreciate me as a woman so loyalty respect funny you have got to be funny because i have dark humor i like to laugh a lot and i mean i joke about everything that might be annoying like bad i joke so much that <laughs> you might get tired of me but yeah respect loyalty funny he has to be smarter than me because i'm smart when it comes to things but there are times where i don't really think things through because i think right off of emotion i'm a woman not gonna lie um, we have that sometimes so it's very good to have a man who's smart and logical way better than we are because men who are great at being smart and stuff are great leaders and when you find a man that's like that you follow and i have no problem following my man and being submissive and then definitely i want someone to be adventurous and like willing so like he ain't gotta like the same things i do but to try him out so i say scenario i want to go rock climbing and he's like oh yeah let's try it just trying to me is so sexy like you doing things out of your comfort zone for me put a ring on it baby put a ring on it who wants that sucked that type of stuff makes me so happy and then i love a super like loving guy just loving all around like sweet nice i don't i don't really care if he's like has anger problems and things like that because i got anger problems but i just want somebody sweet and loving financially i never really like I don't know if that's bad. I'm not really looking for a guy's money because that's not my thing. I have money. There's no problem with that. We both make money, whatever. That's cool. But yeah, I think I'm very like easy going with that. Loving, caring, respectful, funny as hell, smart, and a compassionate person. Just care about my feelings. Care about people around me. Things like that. 
Um, what do men look for in women? Let me see if I can answer this right on point. I believe that men look for women who are in the gym, care about their appearance, care about their bodies, have respect for themselves, carry themselves with respect and respect for them. Like, I feel like the best thing about a woman is to be sexy, show off your sexy, but still respect your man. So if your man says, hey, baby, no, I don't like this. You respect that without, oh, my God, babe, you're being insecure. No, baby, it's boundaries. But I feel like respecting your man is everything. Having confidence in yourself without being insecure. Granted, we are all insecure. We've all had our moments, even me. But being confident, I know men love that shit. And a sweet woman, if you are a sweet, compassionate woman, oh, here, baby, here's your plate of food, and you just care for him, men eat that shit up. Men love that shit. I feel like men are so simple, dude. Men are so fucking simple. Leave him his space. Let him play video games if you're not playing with him. Leave him alone. I don't know. Make him appetizers while he's cooking. Men love that shit. Men love when you take care of them. And men always love a, you know, a girl who likes to be in the bedroom. Can't say too much on YouTube because I don't want to get in trouble, but... You know what I'm talking about. If you put it down, baby, and you give him that Guac Guac Master 3000 spinner, you know, wet, wet, he'll love you. He gonna wife you. Trust me. Listen to me. What is motivating? Why is motivating a guy or trying to help him better off? Better come. Wait. Oh, my God, dude. I can't even read that. Why is motivating a guy or trying to help him do better come off as controlling or pushy? Okay. So I firmly believe that men are men. They don't like to be told what to do. Like they're men, they wanna feel like, I got this, I got the family, I could take care of us. So we as women wanna help you and push you, but sometimes I think we go about it wrong because you guys wanna handle it on your own. And I know it comes off as like, I don't know, rushing you, pushing you, and you can do it yourself. And I feel like a man wants to know he has it. Like he doesn't wanna always ask his girl for things. I totally get that. But men, just know this, Women who try to push you to do better, just know they love you. Just know they see potential in you. And they, they know you're going to get there. And they want to help you get there. So sometimes if you know you got a good woman, allow her to help you. Allow her to help you. There ain't nothing wrong with it. But remember, if she's one who throws it back in your face, I understand why you'd be a little concerned about that. But if she's not and she's a good woman, she has your back, you better ride that shit out with that girl. You better let her push you to your goals. But yeah, guys, that concludes my 10-question video. Um, if you guys have any other like questions for me, write them down below. I'll put all my links in the bio. Um, please write me more things, and I'll make another video. I hope you guys like this one. And bye, guys. You have a good one. See you next time.